your service. Welcome. This is Top Tier Tips. Greetings everyone, I'm Force Nature of Top Tier Tips and I welcome you to your prime spot for tips and tricks to help you level up in Dead Alive 6. In this session, we're going to be looking at the Dragon Shrine made in herself, Ryo Hayabusa's apprentice, Momoji. In terms of gameplay, Momoji can be considered the most straightforward of all the ninja characters. So if you want to play kind of just, well, a straightforward, uh, strong, neutral game, then Momoji is a great pick for you. Momoji was first introduced in Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate, and um, I, I did produce a guide for her in Dead or Alive 5 last round, which you can uh, look over for a nice overview of, well, Momoji in general. But um, obviously there are some changes there in Dead or Alive 6, but right now I'm just going to be going over, sh just showing you a, s briefly some moves with Momoji that are still strong, have a strong Dead or Alive 5, and are strong in Dead or Alive 6. 6 XP is still good. 4 4 K is still good. 8 P is still good. H plus K is still good. 2 H plus K is still good. I mean, like, there's a bunch of stuff. Even though I know some moves like 3 P P has been nerfed. P P P P P has been nerfed. 4 P is weird. Like, 4 P has actually been nerfed, but that's because it has follow ups now. Anyways, once you're done, Momojis. Command training. And combo challenge, then you're ready to be the best Dragon Shrine mating that you can be. Very good. Not quite. It's gonna take a little bit more than that to make the Hayabusa clan proud. This is awesome. As I mentioned earlier, Momoji is a pretty straightforward character in general and is easily the most straightforward of the ninja characters. So if you are in the process of learning Dead or Alive 6 or even just DOA in general, then Momoji would be a great character to start out with. This is because Momoji's just general fundamental game is solid. I mean, she's good at poking, she's good at um, footsie, she's good at like whiff punishment, she's good at, at keep out, also known as defensive pressure. So Momoji, generally you want to be fighting around, let's say like around like mid range. So. Generally for your like 4-4k or like 6-6p or like trying to get like the tip range of um, 2-h plus k That's generally the range that you want to be fighting with with Momoji Although that doesn't mean that she's bad in close Momoji's good fundamental um, poking game is complemented by having just really Excellent um, like kind of Korean Korean backdash and Like this is quarter circle uh, quarter circle just quarter circle back, so it's like with Momoji, it's really good. So she can create space really well. Her forward dash is also really good, so she can end up going like in and out really well. So I mean, that really that's this movement is what complements her like footsies and being able to set up like a whip punishment with like with like six six PP for instance, or even like whip punishing with like um four four K like six six K for a for a stun, or even like two three six P like with a Momoji, if you like, basically like a poking and kind of like, kind of setting up like a bit of a whiff, whiff punishing type of game, then she is a good character to try and, um, to try and work that type of playstyle and game plan. Alright, if you guys know me, I have to put on my best friend in training mode, the move details box, which DOA6 calls the skill info. So I'll just put it on for the left side, and now let's see what Momoji is packing. She's got her 10 frame jab, which, whoa, 12 frames of recovery, that is quite good. 12 frame elbow. Uh, let's see, so the 12 frame elbow deals 17 damage, so it will get out prioritized by 12 frame elbows that deal 18 damage, or just 12 frame mids in general. And she has a 12 frame low, that's a minus 5 on, minus 5 on block, on hit, it is neutral. So neutral on hit means that jab remains 10, elbow remains uh, 12, and 2p remains 12. I'll just let you know in general that Momoji actually has a bunch of 12 frame moves. I think she has like at least five. And I'll just say they're pretty much all good. Momoji 6P is good. It has a couple follow-ups, if I'm not mistaken. 6PP. This will be unsafe on block, so you're left at minus 11. So that's easy, uh, easy seven frame or even 10 frame throw punish. But if it connects, you see you get a plus 17 stun. With a plus 17 stun, you can lift stun with 3P. 
So down forward punch. Or you could launch right out. You got to launch right away with 8P. Right there, 8P is a 14 frame move. When you have plus 17, that means that any move 15 frames or faster will extend the stun or launch depending on the move's properties. The other follow-up that the 6P string has is 6P K. See this here move right here is just like her 6K. So right there, that's her six. So this is her 16 frame jump in mid kick. So this beats out lows. 6BK is pretty much the same move. And the big thing about this is that the the K option is delayable. I know like a lot of stuff in Dead or Alive is delayable, but this is good for momenty. See, look how delayable that is. So simply just doing elbow free cancels is good because then you can sneak in this. And look at this juicy lift stun. Plus 29 you get every time. Plus 29 means that any of your launchers you can pretty much just you can pretty much just launch right away with it. So this is is a good move. And even then, the knee has even more stuff. So you can go into Momo G's. See, this is her jumping stance. Formerly called Tenku. It's now called something, I think, Amakaki. I know, it just... When you say it, you just feel really awkward when you do say it. But yes, I think it's pronounced Amakaki or something along th those lines. That's her double jump stance. So, I mean, I'll just say right now, Momoji has two jumping stances. 9P is single jump called Uzu... I think Uzukazi. Um, she's also had that from Dead or Alive 5 Ultimate. And double jump stance. That's a Amakaki, so I mean, just keep those two things in mind. If you go into the double jump stance off of either 6PKK or 6KK or anything like that... Oh, shit, one move too many. If you go into um, either of those, you see right there on... If you end up connected on hit, you're at a tremendous amount of um, frame advantage, and then... Alright, I'll go over the, the kind of jump options in a little bit, but just to let you know that... You, or you, you have like multiple options, like even like a kick option. The opponent has to, if the opponent gets hit by it, they need to... Pretty much they have to guess a hold to get out of it, or they can use a break hold. But if you end up getting it on block, for instance... You see you're at plus 14. So right now this means that the opponent can't really attack because they have enough frame edge, although they can try maybe do like a like a well that the type of fuzzy guard uh the formal fuzzy guard would be um three the fast one is three three h the slow one is just simply hold block and down but three three h of course is faster so if you do this that's basically some of the most frame advantage that mobuchi could get off off a move although you, your only options are the moves out of the double jump up amakazi stance and you go in the k option you also can get frame advantage so yes momoji's elbow is is good uh, so basically for other things now, so you, if you want to complement that with a mid-kick poke. Alright, for 6k, it's 16 frames, so I'll say in close range, that's not really a good speed. The good thing about 6 k is when it does hit, it gives you a lift stun, and it... it at 16 frames, it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good speed also for jumping over lows, you see in the status, jumps avoid lows. But your mid-kick poke will be 3k. Alright, you see right here, on normal hit, you get a plus 4 um, frame advantage, so it's very light stun. I'll just say for Dead or Alive, frame advantage is almost always off of, like, moves that probably stun in some sort of manner on, on um, normal hit, or counter hit, or whatever. So, because you see that little critical stun, so that, right, not that move, so you get plus 4. So, plus 4 means any of your, even another, any of your, or your general moves will pretty much beat out almost any retaliation the opponent does, unless they... Like, have a 9-frame jab, then they'll beat out doing another... They'll beat out doing another... Well, 3k. But the thing the thing about this, though, is also what makes 3k good is it has follow-ups. You see, now this is 3kp. This is the delayable follow-up right here. I'll just let you know that if 3k gets blocked, you're minus 8, so that's, um... Technically, on paper, that's a throw punishable negative, but it's, I mean, it's, it's incredibly risky to throw punish because of 3kp. You see, it's pretty... Alright, not too much. See, it's pretty delayable there, and you get hit by it, you get a plus 8 stun. Unfortunately, with a plus 8 stun, you can't, um... With a plus 8 stun, you can't really do anything with that. If you press up, you'll go into the uh, single jump stance, and you'll be at plus 7. So, I'll just let you know right now, and you might have noticed this also in the combo challenge. The 3k string is what can lead into Momoji's Bound. Like so, and then you can just finish off with down 3p plus k. 
And right there, you can get solid damage off that. So even though the stun is pretty light, even though the, the stun is pretty light on this, there is a mixture of stuff you can do. My personal favorite is if you if the opponent's expecting it, then you can just free cancel into a throw. You could probably just lead into like more pressure. See, it's just kind of just like do whatever you want after it. But yeah, it's because the opponent doesn't really want to get hit by that that bound. So it's just even getting this stun is okay. I mean, like you don't get enough frame advantage to actually formally get a, a follow up, but you get enough frame advantage that you can put like a little bit of a mix up on the opponent. Other good pokes that Momoji has in close is her H plus K. The move doesn't have any uh, follow ups or anything, but the move is excellent whether it connects on um, counter hit on normal hit you're at like plus eight you see it's a it's a 12 frame track in high uh minus six on block if you're slightly further out if you do it right in your opponent's face then it's minus seven so this move is good around like kind of the tip of like close mid-range it's 12 frames so you can use it in close also although if you are in close range and momoji kind of has just simply her her k so like either kk you see right there it's safe at minus five so that's a safe poke she also has kp it's minus eight so it's a little unsafe but the reason why is it gives you a very juicy nosebleed stun right there plus 34 same thing you can easily launch after that where with kk it gives you plus 16 so that's only again just uh 3p or 8p in fact momoji's kk string is uh Momoji's KK string is a fast um, high low, so it's it's your 12 frame high kick, same speed as H plus K. But you see the second hits a mid. What this is really good is blowing up people that like I don't know like low hold a lot or basically people that like to crouch a lot. The second hit will nail them. If you nail if you were to nail this, let's say on um, on counter hit, and you see right here, nope, your eyes do not deceive you. That is a sit-down stun in DOA 6. You see right there, you can get a free launcher. If I'm too slow, the opponent can end up doing some sort of hold against me. So yes, this is a nice, juicy, dead or alive 5 stun in DOA 6. So if you catch someone low holding or crouching, then... KK will... KK will blow them up. Naturally, Momoji's PP strings are pretty good. You can just do like a single jab, two jabs. I mean, don't worry that it's negative on block. That's because it's part of a string, so it's very common for stuff to be negative in the middle of a string. And she has PPK. That's just like 6PK. And you see right there, it's really delayable. And of course, the opponent does not want to get hit by that lift stun, so that is something for the opponent to watch out for. Your safest option will be... Uh, just PP 6P is minus uh, 5 on block. It's 3 high attacks. You get a uh, plus 27 on hit. Free launcher, 2, 3, 6P. 6, 6K. 8K. All of those can those are your, your go-to launchers. And they're all... Well, will connect pretty easily. So mid-punch, uh, mid-kick, or high-kick. Alright, other options you have out of this is your tracking option, PP 4P. I'll go over the tracking options in a little bit. Because, of course, 4P has gotten some changes. Like this, as you see, uh, PP, 4P, or 4P are now negative um, on block, so you, you can't just... You can't mash it out in the same way as it was in 5, but um, it does end up serving a slightly different purpose now, uh, other than just um, tracking. Alright, so... Unlike my... So my Shirnui, Momiji does not have like a low option or anything out of this string. And I will say something as simple as like punch or punch, punch, grab is... Still pretty decent with Momoji because just simply doing poking shenanigans are pretty good. Because again, the opponent has to respect this. They have to respect that. They might try and sidestep, so that's why you have a tracking option right there. And um oh yeah, if you were to go all right, you have PPP minus nine on block, but if you were to go all the way, you are now minus ten on block. You're not minus three anymore. So now PPP is not really the mashable string it was in like Dead or Life 5 Ultimate. That is the same with uh, 3PP. See right there, it's minus 10. Just like uh, down forward P plus K, it's the same move. See right there, it pushes back a little bit. You can easily be forward thrown for that. 
So the, the move's main purpose is it knocks the opponents away. So either PPP, PPP, PP, 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 PP uh, down forward, or down forward. I mean, three people skate or th uh, three PP. All of those do the same thing, but be careful. They are now minus 10 on block. All right, before I go on and before anything, I will let you know that a big thing also, I've, I said also that Moment G's 12 frame moves are good. I cannot, I cannot over exaggerate or uh, kind of emphasize more how good Moment G's 2P is. All right, yeah, it's minus five on block. It's it's neutral. Unless you're fighting like a nine frame jabber with an 11 frame mid, this move could annoy the hell out of like slower characters. Like there are only, I think like four 12 frame 2Ps in DOA. Like this move, like this move is just really good. As for 12 frame moves, there's another one. There's 7K right here. This move is equivalent to a DP in DOA. So this is basically Moment G's DP, also known as Dragon Punch in 2D Fighters. See this move right here? It's a 12 frame move that deals 38 damage. This will be, this will just blow up 12 frame elbows. It will basically blow up almost any other 12 frame move. That means a 12 frame move has to do 39 damage or more in order to beat this out. So this move beats out a lot of stuff. If it gets blocked, let me just set block. You're, well, all right, it's minus 23 if you do it a little out. If you do it right in the opponent's face, you're minus 25 at worst. Like this move has six active frames. It has 30 frames of recovery. It's a 12 frame move, but um, on paper, minus 25 is really bad. Look how far away you are. A 6T or forward throw will not reach you. So the opponent has to do a move that can reach to punish you. Like Momoji could punish it with their own like 6-6 six, six PP, for instance. Ioni would have to use, like for instance, Ioni would have to use her drill kick or something like that. But the main thing to keep in mind about this move is that the opponent has to strike punish it. I mean, you have to do a throw that's, well, 23, well, 23, 20, or 20, 23 or 24 frames, and they have to do it like immediately, and it has to be able to reach. So under most circumstances, you don't really have to worry about getting thrown unless the opponent tries to do maybe like dash up 6T. Like if they have like a, a six, well, that was 660. Like dash up like 6T or something like that, and sometimes you get the, if you do dash up, you get the different throw like a 660. So generally punishing it, the opponent has to be very specific with how they punish this move, so. So anytime you think the opponent will attack from disadvantage or anything, or anytime you think they're gonna try and pressure you with a slow move, make them respect 7K. Okay, we're gonna be looking at Momi's tracking moves. High, any high, low crushes, and like any notable guard breaks and stuff like that right now. First, we're gonna be looking at tracking moves. I already just showed you this move, H plus K. This is your go-to tracking move. I mean, I said earlier, Momoji's, basically all of her 12 frame moves are good, and this move is great. As you see right there on normal hit or counter hit, you get quite a bit of frame advantage, plus nine. All right, I'll just say right now, you don't get a guaranteed fall, but with plus nine or whatever, you could you could basically get in most fall ups. Like anything like 18 frames or faster should should basically beat out most of the uh, potential retaliation the opponent does, even though if the opponent actually gets hit by us, they hopefully shouldn't be pushing buttons, but you kind of get the idea. So this move is like a primary keep out tool. If it gets blocked, you're at minus six. Minus six can only be punished by a neutral throw, but if you see right here, neutral throws don't really reach that well, unless you do it like close enough. But this move, it basically just pushes out of the range of most neutral throws. So unless you're doing it like right in the opponent's face, and even then the neutral throws can whiff depending on the opponent's range, but at like tip range or whatever, like this this move is pretty safe. So you can just kind of just, if you don't know what 12 frame move to check out, just, just check out H plus K. So right there, really good tracking move. If you, if you want to kind of step forward then, you can use KK minus five, just do a little fussy guard, then you're, then yeah, you're, you're pretty much like good to go. For other tracking moves, so that's your high tracking option. You now have 4P. This move is minus 10 on block, and it does not stun on hit anymore. It leaves you at negative on hit. The reason why is because you now have this, 4PP. See, this move leaves you at plus 20, so you can fall up with the P option or 4P option. See right there, the 4P option ends up um, launching, and uh, the P option gives you a, a plus 37 lift stun. So again, plus 30, uh, plus 30, the plus 37 lift stun means basically like any launcher or follow up that you basically please. But the main thing now that the opponent has to look out for now when Momoji enters into her back turn stance is back turn H plus K. In general, Back turn 4P will be your go-to for entering back turn stance from close range. If the move gets blocked, 
you're at minus six, so you could try and like turn around and block. If the opponent has like a four frame uh, grab or something like that, or a five frame, you have to be careful. It, it is possible for them to go for a throw right away, but um, at 24 recovery frames, it's not a, it's not really a huge amount of like block stun. So the block stun is fairly short, so you could kind of sneak away from a potential like throw punishment. Like minus six in back turn is generally okay. It's not, it's not like too bad. But I mean, compared to just doing like a 4P right there in your minus 10. So right here, but the main thing that watch out for is this move does give you plus 20. Back turn Ace plus K is 28 frames. So that means that if they, you need to kind of condition the opponent to respect this move. So if they like end up like whiffing the wrong hold or something, then you can end up doing this and end up hitting this beauty right here, which I'll end up showing you later. Um, moment is Izuna drops. So the main purpose of this move is something for the opponent to look out for. Like at 28 frames, as you see at plus 20, this move will not connect. So you have to use it to catch the opponent um, anticipating the wrong response. To complement Momoji's PP, 4P, or just 4P, I mean, I just showed you right now, she has PP, 4P, P, and 4PP, both same move. But Momoji has an even safer option, is her 4PK. Unfortunately, this move is a negative guard break, but as you see, both moves are tracking. So this is a 4P, is a 14 frame mid punch. The kick option is a high. So yeah, if the opponent ends up blocking that, then you'll be at light negative. So you do like fuzzy guard, maybe trying to bar you with 2P. Sides that maybe try and try and try and jab after because the opponent might like try an elbow or something like that. So yeah, you have to take like um, light defensive action. But yes, this move does make this move. Um, it does make um, the four P string safe. I would have preferred it was like a plus one kind of guard break because Momoji could use the pressure. But so V, it is what it is. This move just. Knocks the opponent away. So you don't really get much off of it. So I'm not a huge fan of the move for really kind of setting stuff. Oh crap, what the hell are you doing, Ionic? There we go. And um, generally, as you see, back turn, uh, back turn. I mean, 4pp or pp, 4pp, like you get better reward. You get a plus 20 stun and allows you to try and do something afterward. This is just simply just kind of like a knockdown. So this move is basically just to, if you want to, I guess, if you want to get in the opponent's face or something like that. Or just simply it's an alternative that the opponent has to account for other than just looking for 4pp. So even though they can just stand and block both, but um, eh, still a cool looking move though. But yeah, it would be so much nicer if it was plus. All right, for other tracking moves, high, high tracking move, you have um, H plus K. For mid tracking, you have 4p. You also now have 4p plus K right here, plus three on plus three on normal hit. So this is a 15 frame track in mid, although you already have a 14 frame track in mid, but four people K is if you want to enter into, into the single jump, uh, Uzu Kazu, or, oh geez, Uzu Kazu um, stance. I probably butchered it right there. I'll just call it single jump stance. So this move right here, you can use it as kind of like a track and a track and poke along with like four P even though I mean, I kind of prefer when 4P is stunned, but you still have 4P plus K pressed up. So, 4P plus K 8. That right there will go into the single jump stance. Right there. Then you can either do the P option, the K option. So, yeah. This move is a good tracking um, move. Uh, for other tracking moves, so right there you have a couple mid options. 236P is your tracking launcher. And as you see right there, it high crushes too. So 236P in general is just a, is a good launcher. And for your tracking low, you have 1P right here. This has 1PP, so double tracking uh, low punch, mid punch. It is unsafe on block. You can, you can end up seven frame throw punishing this easily. Minus nine, so yeah, the opponent can throw punish it. So you, you, can, you can delay it a bit. Or get the, or mix the opponent up with. You could just simply just do like one P, one one P P, or of course one P K, or one P two K right there. So right there you get plus um, plus seven when it hits. You see right here. So in general, one P is a really good move. And if you need another tracking low, this move is also great. 2 H plus K, so you get plus 9 on normal hit, 
on block, it is minus 13. This is the thing. If you do it in the opponent's face, yes, they can low throw punish you. If you actually do it from tip range, then low throws can actually whiff on this. So basically, this move is tip range safe. So if you end up um, connected on the opponent, you still get your poke damage, your plus 9 or whatever. So, I mean, yeah, if you do it right at tip range, it does half damage. Um, 50%, 12, but... If you do it around that range, you're, you're pretty much safe from punishment. So this move is basically another good move for the opponent to look out for. Because I already will let you know that like 6 XP, 4-4K, uh, four, four those moves are also really good. So it's just, this is just a really good track in low. So I mean, the opponent has to worry about 1P. They have to worry about like 2 H K. So this is great stuff to harass the opponent's ankles with. All right, for go to high crush at this moment, let's say right now, I've already said it before, 2P is really good. This is your go to high crush. It has 20 recovery frames, so it's not even that big a deal if the move even whiffs that much, but it says, I know it's not quite as badass as Ioni's own 12 frame 2P, for Ioni looks like she's just smacking the shit out of the opponent's ankles, but like, I mean, moment is still, moment is still really good. For other cr high crushes, so 2P. I just showed 1P, 2H plus K. So all of these good high crush and lows. Uh, for other good high crushes, 8P. Anytime you think the opponent's gonna try and jab you, I mean, 2P is a safe option, but like, 8P is basically like the do not jab me all the time move. You see, so you see with this move, you can easily end up getting like a, like a small juggle off of it. So you can end up getting like pretty solid damage even from just a simple little like 8p. You, it doesn't quite launch high enough to bound. That's what like H plus K is for on if you get a high enough um if you get a high enough launch. But um yeah, 8 8p is a really good um high crush. 8k isn't all right. Well, it does avoid lows, but it's a high. So if the opponent does a crouch in low, then 8k won't really blow it up. For low crushes, you have. Well, 7k uh, low crush as well. Alright, 9k is like 8k. It's, um... This move is not nearly as good as it is in, um... In Dead or Alive 5. Like, right now, it is, um... It is safe on block at minus 4, but it just, just gives a plus 9... It gives a plus, um, 19 stun, so yeah. So this move also avoids lows, but just like 8k, both these moves are jumping high, so that, of course, they won't hit a crouching opponent. And how could I forget your good low crush? 6k, so you have 6kk into double jump, 6kp, you can just fall up with pp, uh, ppp. Which I think work could work on basically, I think, all the weights to an extent. I mean, it, it connects the easiest on light weights, but... This move is very similar to Hayabusa's, um... His own 6kp. I will warn you that... It is not safe on block. It's the same as it was in Dead or Life 5 Ultimate. It is minus 9, so that means... Free forward throw if the opponent blocks it, but you do have like a couple options. I would have liked it if it was a guard break, but I guess that would probably be too <laughs> probably be too generous. But yeah, six K or six BK or anything like that move. This is a good. These are all good. These are all good low crushes. Like this one is pretty much kind. Of, this one will probably pretty much be your go-to low crush. Your six six K also is um is a low crush launcher. It does jump over lows. It's minus twelve on block, but if it connects, lifts on a normal hit, launcher on counter hit, so that this is a good launcher for you. You can crush lows technically with two with two three six P plus K, but I'll say that right now, this move is pretty slow at 25 frames, and 6K or 7K will be more reliable for crushing lows. And what else? Oh, you could just simply do a 9P. So 9PK. Uh, let me see if I can get this. 9PP. Uh, 9PKK. So right here. So you can use this also to, to crush lows and like set up a bound. So yeah, Momoji is pretty... Momoji is pretty jumpy. And of course, if you go into double jump, you're, you're pretty much invisible to lows also. Right here. So yeah, so... You see it? So you have 9P, 7P. So yeah, so it's essentially... All right, Momoji's a ninja, so she she has like lots of good, lots of good crushes. But yeah, for I'll just say right now, reiterate for high for high crushing, so going under highs, 
2P, 8P, 1P, 2H plus K, stuff like that is good. 2H plus K is a little on the slower side, but like 2P is also good. Uh, not sure if there's any other crush moves. I mean, there probably are some that I'm missing, but um, the ones I've said right here will generally be your go-to crush moves. And of course, 236P is your high crush launcher by writing that rhythm saying that. All right, as for guard breaks this moment, G, your, all right, your main frame advantage will be you have your running your, your own closest equivalent to a drag kick or running side kick, running H plus K. As you see right there, it's a high kick, come 20 frames, leaves you at plus one. Plus one generally means that like a jab, elbow, 2P will probably beat out most retaliations. At worst, what will happen is that you'll end up just trading. But still, plus one is still nice, so you can use that as a primary get in move. But of course, that's the move the opponent's gonna be looking out for, so that's why you also have stuff like like 6-6-P or 2-H plus K or other kind of things you can kind of use for mix-up. But that move right there is kind of uh, the, the get-in move when you think that the opponent's frozen frozen up and they're not really sure what to expect. All right, on wake-up, for instance, or when you have a lot of, um, I don't know, when, when I mean like after you knock the opponent down or something like that, and on their wake-up, if you know they're not going to do a wake-up kick, you can end up using quarter circle back or 2-1-4-P plus K for a plus six guard break. Same thing with um, plus six, the opponent has to respect any sort of like pokes you can do, so you can probably try and easily try and sneak in a throw of some sort after you get the opponent to to block that, or try and fish for, try and fish for the coveted lift stun also. So yeah, so quarter circle back P plus K is pretty good. All right, Momoji has gotten back her double jump or Amakaki, oh my God, I hate saying that word. I'll just say double jump, or the formerly Tenku K, is now plus two on guard. It was minus two on guard back in Dead or Alive 5 last round, which I think was kind of silly because it's a it's a linear high which the opponent can crouch or sidestep. But if you do get the opponent to... Alright, fuck it, let's do it the easy way. If you get the opponent to end up blocking it easily, you'll be at, uh, you'll be at plus two, so that's good. So again, I mean, like Momoji has good strike speeds at 10 frame high, 12 frame mid, and 12 frame low. So that means that any sort of frame advantage you can pressure easily. The only downside is that Momoji doesn't have what I would say a good pressure throw. Her throws are basically kind of just annoying the opponent, but nothing that really is genuine pressure. But you can, with Momoji, she's kind of like hit and run. So just take your damage and like and, and run. All right, and now for other guard breaks. Ah, uh, yes, she has another plus two move. Uh, six, ace plus K, forward guard plus kick. This move gives you is a 26 frame move, so that is slow. It's got okay range. You can check the range with um by just scrolling with the right stick and pushing it in on R3. You see right here it goes like around 2.35 or up to like around over 2.4 meters, depending on your range. So this move is basically kind of like a meaty on the opponent's block. You get your your plus two. Any poke you can probably end up doing after the opponent for free at plus two. If it does hit the opponent, then it kind of just Kind of just like knocks down. You could try and go for like a little force tech with there with 1P, 2K, then another 2K, but I kind of preferred the sit downs on this move you skip. Like I'll say right now, I feel that Momoji does get probably slightly hurt by the fact that there aren't really sit down stuns in DOA 6. Like I know there are fatal stuns, but it's like this move was like a good fatal stun move. Quarter circle back, P, P plus K was a good fatal stun move, but this move does. This move does uh, launch now. Quarter circle back P P plus K, and right there, and you can like you can end up like doing like a little like follow up and like a little combo afterwards, like so. But I do I did kind of prefer the the sit down stuns where where um the opponent had to stagger save on fastest to avoid the follow ups. But as you see right here, the bounce off of like quarter circle back P P plus K is still it's still pretty good. But um you kind of get the idea. So with with this move it. it it's just a knockdown, so I'm not a, like a huge fan of it, but it it's basically a move you want the opponent to block because if they get hit, all you can really do is try and try and force them up with a cheesy pseudo force tech. And earlier I already showed you that 6kk or anything into double jump k is a plus 14 guard break. But but for there you're only limited to your options. You have a P option, which is a minus one guard break, which you can probably try and bar with a 2p jab sidestep, so it's very, very light negative, minus one. So that one is, unfortunately, is a 
it's not a real guard break. Already showed you the K option right there, plus two. That one, unfortunately, is the most avoidable. It can be sidestepped or it can be crouched. If the opponent's gonna sidestep, then you have to use the throw option from here. Right there. That's your only tracking option from double jump. But yes, the frame advantage on block is only if you go into Tengu. If you end up just falling, then you're not, it's not plus 14. It's plus 14 when you're in the air. So just like, you have to keep that in mind though, that the opponent's gonna try and fuzzy guard your options. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing to fall, but just to let you know that it's just basically a mind game if you fall. Because the opponent's obviously is respecting an, an option, so sometimes, if you think the opponent can just fuzzy guard you, then yeah, you have to kind of just... You have to kind of just, um, fall, then, like, I guess, continue pressure afterwards when the opponent's fully respecting the stance. As I mentioned earlier, Momoji's mid-range game is good. Like, this is the range you basically want to be fighting your opponent's at with Momoji. Alright, when you're fighting around mid-range, what I want you to do is harass the opponent with 2 h plus K. If you would like something a little faster that isn't so reactable, that's where you smack him with 6 6 You get plus 7 on normal hit. If a move gets blocked, you are minus 5. Yes, this move is abusable. It is safe on block. And of course, there's a dangerous fault the opponent has to look out for, 6 PP. If you end up connecting 6 PP even on like normal hit, so you, even on like lightweights, you can easily end up setting up a bound off it. So the opponent does not want to get hit by this move in DOA 6s because this move is a lot more dangerous with that bound. So like this move, whether it gets hit, wh whether it gets blocked, this move is really good. All right, so now you have your low option, you have your mid punch option. Now you'd like a mid kick option. There's a couple you can use. You have 4 4 K. This move is only minus three on block. So this is essentially your safest option to enter into back turn stance. Safer than 4PP, quarter circle back P. See, these are all like single digit negative, but minus three is the best. And of course there's quarter circle back P, P plus K. See, all of these are more negative than minus three. This is completely safe from punishment. So because this goes in the back turn, a nice little quirk when you go do a move that goes in the back turn in DOA, press 4-4 four, four, or back back. You see this, you create, space so this makes this move a really good poke when it does connect you have a plus 21 stun so you can easily get in back turn p uh, back turn 4p if you do it right away can also connect like it's two frames faster than doing a uh, 236p from the forward facing so this right here i'll say straight up is your best move for going into back turn 4pp is in close 4pp also the first hit tracks but well, and that's where you're in close range. You should be fighting from mid-range, and for mid-range, 4-4-K, I mean, this is arguably one of uh, Momoji's safest moves, and I will say in general, safety is one of Momoji's strengths, although I will admit, compared to Dead or Alive uh, 5, Ultimate or Last Round, Momoji is less safe. The reason why, her primary uh, knockback move is now unsafe. I said that earlier. This is the move for smacking someone to a wall. Anything like down forward 3 people plus K. But yes, Minus 10 on minus 10 on block, so free 60 if the opponent blocks it. So you have to be a little careful with it. I mean, it's it's like a sh shorter range death fist move. But yeah, going back to poking right now. 4-4K. I will say it throughout the guide. Very good. If you want an alternative that's slightly faster and also goes pretty far, 4K. So it goes 1.99 meters, 4-4K, 2.03. So almost the same. Although 4K is less safe. I'm not that move. 4K, let's see right here, plus six on normal hits, so you can't really follow up, but that is good frame advantage. If it gets blocked, you're at minus 10. This move used to be like minus five on block. The reason why is you can now transition into single jump stance, Uzukazi. So that's all, that's okay. So just like with four P plus K, which you can also kind of use around mid range, even though its range is not as good as like 4K, but 4P plus K tracks, 4K doesn't. They're both 15 frames. These two moves are very similar. 4P plus K, 4K. 4K goes further, is linear. 4P plus K, not as far in his track, and both are unsafe on block and have the ability to go into single jump stance. So if you do want to go into that, I mean, uh, on block... Well, on block, you're not really any sort of, like, frame advance. So on block, it's actually not really good. But if you, if you hit the opponent... And like go into the bound, but on block, yeah, it's not. 
on block, you need to be careful of the opponent either trying to jab you or trying to maybe do like some sort of like instant kind of like high crush kind of move. So you do, yeah, so you have to be kind of careful with this. But yeah, good when it hits um, risky if blocked. Where I mean, 4K eight, that's what it is. 4K up, risky when blocked, but 4 4K. Really good move. I, I, I just love this move. So from a bit further out, from about mid to long range out, basically the same moves apply. The opponent has to is going to be looking out for 6 XP. They're going to be looking out for 2 H plus K, 4 4 K. But the main thing now is that if you're playing from long range, you have a couple options here. Either trying to get in, 6 XP is your, going to be your go-to get in move. And of course you also have, I showed earlier, run in 2 H plus K for plus one. So, mix up between dash up 6 6p, run in H plus K, even dash up 4 4 K. I mean, see, there are a bunch of good tools you can use. That's if you want to get in. If you want to keep the opponent out, this move right here. I mean, 4 4 K in itself is a good um, keep out move. 4 K is okay. Like, the opponent does not want to get hit by 4 K. Do they do not want to get hit by 6 6 PP? Even though I will say, this move is to be used as a whip punisher. It's a little delayable, so you could kind of hit confirm the second part. To be on the safe side, just do 6P, you get your frame advantage, then just do your, your close range pressure. But right now, if the opponent runs at you, smack him with this move. This is the don't run in on Moment G move right here. So it, it's like this move is just so good. It's tracking, it's safe, it's fast at 12 frames. I mean, it's just this move here, right here. If you want something better, of course, 4-4K gives you better stun. And 4k on, if you were to connect it, let's say on counter hit. You see right here, you get plus 21, so... And yeah, you're generally going to be hitting most stuff on counter hit, so like, both of these are good. And of course, 6 XP, always dangerous move. I like, showed you it earlier. Alright, other other stuff that you can kind of concern yourself, like with, with regards to moves, those are kind of like your go-to kind of like strikes, pokes. But, but Moment G has good movement. Anytime you need to create space, use 7p. If you want to move in for a bit and try and bait your opponent, use 9p. Because 9p, you could do 9p, 9p, or 9pp, 9pk, 9p, or 9, 9pkk. I mean, basically, so you start baiting to see what the opponent's reaction is. There's your high option. If you think the opponent's going to try and crouch under you, you have your mid kick option with the k. And you could just. You could just like even do, like, do some like shenanigans with this. You could also access single jump Yuzukazi with jab jab PP8. Same thing as just doing like a 9P. So both of these are good. I'll say right now, Momoji is good at control in space. So other than if I mean, I kind of like Ayane, kind of like Hayate, Momoji is also good at control in spaces because ninjas like control in space like that. So yeah, PP8. 9p 7p and of course i already showed you earlier that momiji's generic movement is really good even just doing like uh 4 4 6 6 creating back dash continuous um quarter circle forwards like momiji's is like really good she covers like so much space and if you have a life lead it can be really annoying to get in momiji all right oh yeah if you want an alternative to h plus k for the opponent run at you opponents also don't like getting hit with 7k also because it's basically kind of like a dp so anytime the opponent runs at you, you could smack him with 7k, you could do um, H plus K. And another thing also, with regards to 7k, it looks like 7p. So you could do 7p, 7k. So they almost kind of look the same, so I mean, it will make the opponent think twice about running in a moment, G, and that's what you want to keep in mind. Uh, if you want something that's also kind of like safe, this was a little slower, I already showed you 214p plus K, so it's like plus six plus seven on block so if you could like space it right i mean i know it's a little hard to do but it is it is frame advantage if you can kind of get if you can space it right but i admit that's a more challenging option but it whether it hits or gets blocked like if it if it hits not the opponent in the way if it gets blocked you get your frame advantage but yeah the easier to use tools would be like 4 4 k 6 6 uh 6 6 p like i admit though you can't really mash 3 pp anymore because it's not minus three on block or down 4 p if you want to knock something away you can try to use. You can try to try to use this move. I wish the rate range was a little bit further than two. Like it's faster than than two and four P plus K, but two and four P plus K is advantage on block, and uh, three P plus K is, is is faster and has a close hit property. 
But yeah, 6 XP, 4 4K, I mean, like, take your pick. Oh, and I looked at this earlier, and also, um, 3 KP is it's good in close range, 14 frame mid kick, but it's also great from mid range. As you see, again, the second hit tracks, it stuns, the opponent doesn't want to get hit by that, and it also can go into the single jump stance, of course, which can set up the bound. So 3 KP, no, not them, 3 KP, not 3, 3 people, okay? 3 KP is also like a good poke. So this right here is if you want kind of a string to toss out along with like the PP string. 3KP is also is also good. So a lot of moves here to complement Momoji's excellent neutral game. Momoji's throw game is pretty average. For instance, it's 5 frame throw. This leaves the opponent close by. 45 damage. She has two 7 frame throws. 53 damage if you chuck them forward. And 53 damage if you chuck them the other way. So this is just simply if you want to chuck them in front of you or behind you and if i'm not mistaken this throw should be able to do wall damage also like so so yeah it's kind of there's some somewhat similar to kind of like ayane's throws where it's just used to try to just um just it's just designed to just kind of create space all right for her 10 frame throw this one's a sneaky one just like hayabusa's like kind of like run up and throw right there it jumps over same thing it creates a lot of space it ends up switching sides not to mention, you're smacking the opponent in the back of the head, so it's kind of almost a little demoralizing to hit them with that, so you get your 56 damage and run. And I say right now that doing a kind of a hit and run gameplay with Momoji, especially if you have the life light, is a perfectly valid strategy. And now for your um, powerful throw, your half circle forward T, or um, 4 one 2 3 6 T. Right here, you um, just bust up the opponent's arm, get your 62 damage, so that's going to be like... Should be about like 99 on... High counter, if you, because that's, okay, not that, not neutral throw, there we go. So this is the hold used against, the throw used against holds, you get your 99, your 99 damage, but other than that, like, Momoji's throw game is, like I said, it's kind of average. So yeah, Momoji's standard throws are honestly very average. The only throws she has of any note are usually her kind of um, specialty throws. For instance, her double jump or Amakaki T. In, a, in order to go into or just double jump stance from neutral, 9p, p plus k. Then do 9p, p plus k throw. Then you can do this. If you do 1p, 2k, you could technically force the opponent up if they somehow do not tech roll. And I mean, I don't, who knows? The people made it just lighter because they think that all the follow-ups are guaranteed. If the opponent does not do any tech whatsoever, then you can just do what I did. 1p, 2k. You get your 57 damage plus plus 16 force tech. But here, let me. But in general, you're gonna want to go for juggles off it, such like this. All right, another no uh, throw of note with Momoji is her own Izuna drop. You see right there, at, right at the bottom, it's 236P plus K, PP, then up, down, or 82T. You can input it the same way as Hayabusa's own one and just simply do a, a full circle clockwise, so from right to left, or full clockwise, and that will work also. You could do it in open space, as you've seen throughout this guide, or you can also do it under a ceiling for a little extra damage. See right there, you end up getting a uh, 70 damage, and I think when I said clockwise, I might have actually meant uh, counter clockwise. But um, full rotations do end up working with that, so you do get a little additional damage off that, and you get this awesome looking effect if you do do it under a ceiling. So yeah, after let's say like a a break blow, this is generally going to be max damage. <laughs> be careful, it's a 25 frame move, two three six p. So you have to do it right away after a break blow and you can you can just do three piece if you just want to ground the opponent instead Momo G has two low throws she has her standard 2t her down throw does 50 damage i think about 80 damage on high counter standard five frame low punish throw but Momo G's main throw is her 1t it's a 10 frame throw not a seven frame throw and it gives you a tremendous amount of advantage don't let that plus 17 fool you i mean it's a it's it feels like a lot more than that it's enough frame advantage to get a full double jump or Amakaki P plus K. So, I mean, just press P plus K. You can just hold it down. And now press P repeatedly during the combo throw. 
and you can get some kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom style of mashing after that, and then you'll just get the full combo. I mean, this is pretty damn sick. So just press P, boom, 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 boom. And you get this massively badass looking hit throw right there. Momoji's hold game for the most part is pretty straightforward. Like her her holds tend to leave the opponents fairly like close by. That's her high punch hold. They deal about 55 damage. So right here's the low punch hold. Let me just slap on the skill info. And for now, for Momoji's mid punch hold, she actually has two of them. There, you see a lot of Momoji's holds end up switching the opponent's side. That's a normal hold. If you do forward, back, or 6-4-H, that's Momoji's expert hold. She just gets an extra um, 3 damage, so... It's not really that good of a expert punch hold, but it, eh, it is an alternative to just doing a normal one. Ayane's mid-kick hold and low-kick hold are a bit more interesting than her standard punch holds and um, high-kick hold. Like, I'll show you the mid-kick hold first. It's very similar to Ayane's own mid-kick hold. The difference is that Momoji's actually gives you enough frame rate advantage for a fall. It gives you plus 10 plus back turn. So that's like plus 15 because of the five frames required to turn around and block. That means uh, 6P. 6P is guaranteed. And 3P is guaranteed. 6P is better. You can't actually really do much off it. You can only do... Ah, oh, jeez. Let me go a little faster. You only can do 6P KKP or... Oh, jeez, I'm still too slow. Or a 6PK PPP. As for Momoji's low kick hold, it's very similar to her 1T or down back uh, throw. You see right here, it gives you enough frame advantage for a free. Oh, jeez. Let me get this again. See right here, for that free mid-air break bow-like awesome hit throw. I will let you know that you, get, you actually have less time to do it than off the low throw. Like, if you hold it down the entire time, then the opponent can block it. So you have to charge it a little bit, then you get it. If you'd like a combo off the low kick hold, then you can... Uh, let me get this again. So you can just do a KP, then 3P, 4PP. Or an alternative you can do is is KP then 6P uh, 6P KP. When you have the opponent backed in the corner with Momoji, some moves that you can use to wall slam the opponent with is her H plus K is really good. Her K on counter hit is good. Uh, three P plus K the new close hit move is good. One PP. So right there, so you have like high options, mid options, uh, low option. You can also use stuff like um. 7k 66k so there you have like a bunch of like numerous options right there a couple follow-up juggles you can do after you wall slam the opponent is uh 4p plus k then do 6p kkk or 6p double jump k an alternative that you can use is is after the wall slam you do 4p plus k 8pp so from single jump PP, then just finish off with 7K. If you do wall slam with 7K, or not 4K, 7K, then you could follow up with, just to make for consistency, 7K, 8P, 6P, KKK. If you get the small wall splat, then follow up with this. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me on this extensive Momoji journey. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact me on my YouTube, Twitter, or Twitch. So that means leaving a very enlightening comment down below. You can also contact Force Nature on freestepdodge.com. And be sure to check out my other extensive um, character guides and other top tier tips advanced guides, even some uh, beginner guides. So lots of additional goodies to check out. If you would like to support the channel, feel free to join top tier fighters. The support does help and I do appreciate it. Anyways, this will be Force Nature signing off. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time on Top Tier Tips. Oh, and one last thing. Happy birthday, Momoji.